Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about the CRUD REST API operations using MySQL. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, let me check my create function. So here we have a users table. So let me create the users table with name and the email. So table name that is users and here I'm going to with the name and email over here so let me add these two fields and here we have a wirecare so where is wirecare and here also we will take the wirecare over here okay done length 30 let's save this Okay, so again show the structure. Alter ID is there. Just add one more column that is ID and make it incremental. This is auto increment. Okay, save. We're done. So this is we have the table is created. Let's go. It's exactly running. Let's go to the open link. So here we have a CRUD let's add the create okay and uh, here we have the crowd operation so here i'm putting my first record that is rajnikan and email anything that i can go with this one and submit the record user created and uh, here we go with the fetching the data of the users is there an issue in that assess denied for the root localhost password yes let me check what exactly it is so let me go and check the database connections view word wrap okay so here we have to go with the env and the database we haven't subscribed right so let me check the database what exactly it is the database name is test db so the database is wrong that is test db okay let's try to rerun again and let's have a look okay so let's go with create let's add rashnikant and here we go with the email submit user created still facing the same issue error only plain objects are built in past client components of so classes and all types are in the not supported again assist uh, root give me a second again what exactly host uh, username is root and this is the password is hash yes let me check this log out i think the username is root and here we have uh, admin to log in this yeah this is that one and here we have the test db then what will happen assess is denied user root on the localhost and the password is yes might be in this i need to put the quotes might be I'm not sure in that scenario okay let's do go with this one now because there is a issue with the hash passwords right so here you can see that the user is created add user again and we will put this record and let's submit two records are there now I'm going to edit this John Doe, then I will go with the edit also. Okay, so John Doe 3. Let's update this. Here you can see that the record is updated. And if you want to go with the delete part, so I can go with the delete also. Okay, so confirm and the record is deleted. Right, so this we are going to learn in this video. Let's have a look on that one. So, here go with the 
this is basically on the behalf of the server actions not the rest api i have created so here we have an app okay then we have an env file db host user password and the db name got it then we have the another one that is database.js file for the connection so make sure you have to install the respective imports okay and here we have the mysql.create connection with the host user port password and the database okay and then await db.execute query db.end and result right so this is basically database.js in the root file then we have the env file which we already done next we have the app file then we have a user page so here we have the create edit and the read so in the create page.js here you can see okay so here you can see what uh, we have actions that we are using over here and this is the create page so what we have done over here so let me check the ui so here you can see that the create e ui is there so handle submit is there right so here we have the label your name and here we have the input set the name e dot target dot name right and next we have the input that is email and the value is email set email okay then we have the button submit okay and here we have the on submit right so on submit handle submit data so e dot prevent we accept expecting the name and the email then create function in the app actions create okay then push read and the user created right so we have used the react hot toast make sure you have to install this and then we have a create function so here from the actions we have a create function over here so here you can see we have mentioned the use server and uh, from the database we are using a pool create function here so basically just hitting that one await pool insert into the user's name and the email and the values okay next we have a create section now we go with the create page.js user page create is done then we have a edit so here you can see that we have an edit section so what we are trying to do over here edit that form okay so here we can go with the handle update and the rest of the thing is same that is the name email and the button right so here you can see that on the handle update so what we are trying to do we are calling the edit function with the name email and the id let's go and check this and then push read function so edit function is there so what we're trying to do is just editing the code so update the user set name email where id is okay and if uh, result affected road is equal to zero that means user not found else user updated okay next we have the read edit is done then we have a read function so here you can see that the fetching the all the data so basically here you can see so these are the imports so please check this and the listing we have the read page right so what we have this one so here you can see that we have the is loading then return all the data so this is a loader basically right so which we have adding now here you can see that we have all users okay so here you can see that we are fetching the users dot map the data right so image is there okay and user dot name and the email we are fetching okay then we have edit and then we have a delete okay set model delete right so handle delete function is there so delete function we are going to call it okay delete function was called then we will call the read function okay so read function basically select data from the user table right okay and set the user set is loading and the toast that the user is deleted and the next the love first one that is in the use effect we are calling the fetch data right read function okay then set whatever data we get and set into the user state and the is loading to be false right okay this is done and yeah this is users app user page create edit because edit on the behalf of the id then we have a read then we have a actions that is create delete edit okay so edit part we have already shared delete part is shared the create part is shared in the actions now we have a components that is modal 
so the pop-up modal is there so here you can see that we have a pop-up modal use client use state set confirm model should become or not is open so this is basically the modal that we have used so make sure you have to add this modal okay and export this default right and what else we have done page.js nothing that is crud app layout nothing we have done okay and yeah this is completed okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day